Now this morning, more customers filed lawsuits against Giant Eagle over the chain's mask policy. Amy Wattis joins us this morning to explain some of the recent accusations. Amy. Heather, these newest complaints were filed on Tuesday, both of them coming out of Butler County, one from the Giant Eagle at Cranberry Mall and the other in it's in seven fields. Now, one complaint came from a woman named Tammy Aiken. According to Aiken's complaint, that incident occurred on May 28th. Aiken says she has a history of lung fibrosis, stroke, and vertigo that limits her breathing, so she can't wear a mask. She says she was shopping at the Cranberry Giant Eagle when she was told to leave. Now, the other alleged incident was from Catherine Duxteen, and that happened last Monday. According to her complaint, Duxteen has a condition where blood pressure and heart rate suddenly drop, causing her to faint. She also says she has PTSD and a form of anxiety that makes it difficult to breathe when she wears a mask. She said she had been able to shop at that giant eagle without a mask before after confirming it was okay to do so. But this in this most recent incident, she says giant eagle brought back its no exception mask policy. She says police were called and she was escorted out of the store. Now these aren't the only lawsuits that have been filed. We've seen several lawsuits filed back in May just last month. Now the Pennsylvania Secretary of Health mask policy states that anyone over the age of two must wear a mask unless they have a medical condition. They don't need to show proof for that medical condition. I reached out to Giant Eagle for a statement and I'm waiting to hear back. Reporting live this morning, Amy Wattis, KDKA News.